Hello everyone. So, it's been over a week since the last update on anatomy. I hope you followed the steps of the last two videos, because today we will look at something major while learning basically anything. So, it includes anatomy. And as a little disclaimer, today there won't be anything, you know, you can really see in this video. It's just a time lapse of me drawing something. I don't know what, but I'm sure I'll find something. So lean back and enjoy this audiobook on how to learn properly. So in regards to anatomy, the thing that you most likely are after is a very well, you know, rendered musculature of your characters, which is very nice to have. However, it is a building block that comes on the very top of the pyramid of anatomy and desperately chasing after that you know highest block in the pyramid can be damaging to your motivation and even to your entire liking of drawing but that's exactly why i am here and why you're listening to this probably because you don't want to lose motivation on drawing the first thing that you need to keep in mind always while learning anything not just for drawing is that it is a process. There will most likely not be a point in time where it just clicks and you're good at something, where as to one day before you were not good at it. Keep in mind that even the highest of professionals are still learning. With everything they do, they learn something. And with that said, let's get to how to learn something. Now, you might think that the easiest way to learn something is to memorize it. You probably remember from school that, you know, you had to memorize certain countries, you know, the names, the names of the major states, whatever. And memorizing things can work quite well in certain situations. These situations are artificial ones created by schools. But what they don't really help you with is understanding the topic and building from what you've learned. I can proudly say that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. However, I have no idea what a mitochondria is. I don't even know how they look. And I'm not gonna lie, I would even struggle to tell you what they exactly do. That is because this is information that I learned for a test. It is information that I just needed to shout out, to spit out and not understand. I needed to know what it is and done. You can call it something like surface level knowledge. And when beginning to draw and learning everything, there are a lot of things that, you know, many people do that only produce this surface level knowledge. However, that is most likely not the fault of every individual because a lot of things like on the internet, there are very many people and even teachers, sometimes even teachers from real art schools or whatever, that just spread this kind of misinformation. The misinformation that you just gotta learn it. In our case with anatomy, you just gotta learn the muscles. How does every muscle look? How does every muscle behave? And what is their name? Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that even some teachers will teach you absolute nonsense, because it's not. I'm very sure that is the way they would teach themselves anatomy. But that's only because they already know anatomy and they already know how to draw. But if you are a beginner and you don't know how to draw anatomy, you don't know the proportions and you don't even really know how to really shade all these complicated structures and shapes, creases and crevices and, you know, everything on the human body, then that kind of knowledge just isn't gonna stick with you as easily and it's not gonna help you draw better. But what will help you draw better is knowing how these muscles look all together. As somebody who does not know anything about anatomy, you will need to work your way from big to small. Mash as many muscles together as you want to create a shape, a big shape that you can easily learn. And then once you've mastered that kind of shape, then you can break it down into even smaller shapes. And before you know it, you're gonna have every muscle drawn out. Now this sounds like it's gonna be an easy breezy summer vacation, but as I said earlier, it's a process and it's a long process. Anatomy is one of the most, you know, sought after and most difficult things that you can learn, which is exactly why you should learn how to construct first 
then the proportions of the human body and then you can break up the human body into a few muscle shapes to get the anatomy looking right. If you've watched a fair share of videos on this channel and maybe even one of these, you know, real time videos that I try to keep posting every now and then, you will have seen that there are quite a few ways to construct something, you know, to tell yourself oh, where goes what on the canvas. As a small tip for absolute beginners, I recommend actually drawing it out, line work construction. Because that way you need to set the edges of the shape. You can't just make a distinguished block of paint and imagine a human body into it. I mean, maybe you already can, but if you cannot, then drawing it out with lines will help you be able to do that in the future. What I'm getting at is I usually mix up the techniques with which I paint, especially now for these studies, since I know most of them are going to be uploaded and will most likely help people to know how they should do studies or what kind of techniques you can use to paint a little faster. I try to keep it mixed up and sometimes I use line construction, sometimes I just splurge a blob of paint on it and start painting in values, and sometimes I do a mix of both. And the type of construction where I just splash a little bit of, you know, opaque paint on the canvas and then add a few lines and suddenly it looks like the shape of a human body. That is something I can do because I've got a fairly good understanding of the human anatomy and I can just splash a little paint on the canvas and I'll know what I want to do with that kind of shape or reverse it. I know what kind of shape I need to make a certain kind of pose or perspective human body. And achieving such a understanding of anatomy is probably only possible because you will know how everything works in a 3D space. And frankly, imagining, you know, the abs and the torso or whatever into a few distinguished shapes in a 3D space is just way, way easier than imagining every kind of muscle there is. And adding to that, if you draw a human, mostly 50% of all the muscles will not be visible because, you know, the backside of the human is just not there. So getting worked up about the interactions with muscles that you can't see is just time spent for nothing. Now, as a little quick, you know, summary or whatever you want to call it of the most important points about learning something like anatomy, the first step is knowing that it is a process that will be very hard and very long and you will not see immediate improvement. The second step is to learn anatomy in increments. Learn the absolute basics first, like construction, perspective and shading general shapes. Then go to gesture drawing and proportions. And once you're feeling very comfortable in both of these, then you can split the human body into a few distinguished shapes that will make your anatomy drawings look good. From there on out, you can go as detailed as you would like. And the last and probably most important step is to be happy. Be happy where you are now, because in a year, you will be better. If you just draw a little, if you're happy while drawing, if you enjoy that, you will become better. Now, happy drawing everyone, and I wish you a very merry Christmas, because there will probably be no video before Christmas and most likely not New Year's Eve, the way I know myself, probably not for the next 10 months or so. But anyway, tell me in the comments what you, I don't know, what kind of art skills you wish from Santa or what kind of art New Year's resolution you have. I'm actually quite interested to know what kind of art goals people have. Happy drawing, Merry Christmas, whatever. Goodbye.